Hello and welcome. I'm Bill and in this video I will be talking to you about some basic safety issues to consider when getting started in wood carving. Now let's make a start with the uh, possibly the most obvious candidate for self-harm when you're carving and that's with the carving tools themselves. Now when I'm carving I like to have my tools as close as I possibly can to where I'm actually working. Um, I'll select uh, a selection of tools that I think I might be uh, needing for the particular job and I'll arrange them so I've got the handles all pointing towards me. Now this means I can easily see the different profiles of the tools, pick the one that I think suits the, uh, the job in hand best, use it, I can then put it back, all very safe. Now believe it or not, this is the sort of situation where I've seen most people damage themselves, just picking the tool up and putting it down Particularly bad if you're taking them out of a bag, um, that, can, that can be very dangerous. Um, but uh, also, if you've got them on a table like this and you just have one pointing the wrong way, you may not see it, you make a reach for this tool here, and you could very easily damage yourself quite badly on the one that's pointing the wrong way. So it's good practice just to keep all your tools arranged so that they're facing the same direction. Now once you've uh, safely made your tool selection, um, take great care when you're carrying it around or holding a tool in your hand, uh, particularly when you're not carving. I've seen on many occasions people that wear glasses pick the glasses up with the tool in their hand, go to put them on the head and uh, that could all go horribly wrong. So make sure you put the tool down, then put the glasses on. Makes things a lot safer. On a similar note, if you're uh, walking around and you have a tool in your hand, and maybe you start talking to somebody, it's very easy to get carried away in the conversation, start gesticulating wildly. Uh, you could do a lot of damage with that, somebody walking past. Also, you could even damage yourself. So at all times, when you're holding a sharp gouge or chisel, uh, make sure you have it under full control. Now, one quick point just before we get uh, carving with our selected tool. Um, it's always very important to uh, have a securely fixed piece uh, before you get started. Um, I do go into uh, clamping and fixing your piece of work uh, in much more detail in another video. Um, when you're carving, always try and keep all your soft fleshy parts behind the sharp end of the tool. Whether working just by hand in that way or if you're using a mallet. Keep everything behind the sharp end, makes life a lot safer. Don't try and carve towards yourself like that, that could be horrendously dangerous. Um, also having a very sharp tool is much safer than having a blunt one. Uh, obviously a lot more force is used if you're pushing a, a blunt tool through wood and therefore keeping your tools nice and sharp is quite important from a safety point of view. Now if you're working away or if you're just uh, um, moving a, a gouge or tool around and you accidentally drop it, don't whatever you do try and snatch it out of the air to try and save it. Just step back, let it fall. Um, I've found this out the hard way from personal experience. If you try and catch a tool it can quite easily uh, go horribly wrong. So just let the tool drop. Uh, I work on a concrete floor but I do have a piece of carpet underneath me so that if I do drop a tool it um, just falls on the carpet and uh, doesn't get damaged at all. Uh, while on the subject of dropping tools, good idea to wear boots or enclosed shoes at the very least uh, just in case of accident and uh, while on the subject of clothing as well try to not wear anything too loose and flappy around you. Um, it can get uh, caught on your work and, and break a, a delicate sculpture or it can get uh, dragged into a machine and um, cause some damage that way. So just bear that in mind. Try and keep clothing as uh, close to the body as possible. Stops it getting snagged on anything uh, that you don't want it to. And finally we come to eye protection. I personally use uh, some protective goggles like these with the wraparound sides. Uh, if I'm doing anything with power tools or if I'm using my sharpening system which has a, a rotary wheel on it that can throw bits of grit and metal into the face. Um, other times I might use goggles is if I'm carving a particularly hard wood and I'm using a, a mallet maybe 
Um, when you're working away on a on a particularly splintery hardwood like you, uh, it can throw uh, bits straight into your face. So very important to wear goggles in any situation where you're liable to get uh, particles into the eye. Now one of the areas where somebody is most likely to harm themselves is when using a knife of some description. Uh, now the best advice I can give is when you're using a knife be very, very careful. But uh, there are a couple of points that I can put across that may help people out. Um, if you're working from the hand, you're holding the piece that you're carving and uh, you're whittling away some wood from the side. Using a knife where you're pulling towards yourself like this, you're not pulling the whole thing this way, that would be extremely dangerous because if you, when it exits the wood, you could slash anywhere, your arm, your body, it could be quite nasty. So I'm just using a gripping action like this. I'm not bringing the thumb towards the blade, that would be very dangerous. I'm making the action work so that the thumb always misses the blade. I can then position that up to the wood and I can pull the blade through the wood quite nicely that way. And I'm always going to miss myself. There's no way I can accidentally harm myself doing that action. And you can usually position whatever the carving is in such a way so that you will always miss the thumb. Just continue around this side a bit, just to give the idea. Okay, now there's a lot of um, strength in the grip. It is quite a useful technique to use if you're carving in your hand in this way. And there we go. Now, I do use scalpel blades an awful lot and um, one of the problems that can happen with these and with other knives as well is uh, what you might call handle creep. It's when you're using a tool and you're concentrating on your carving and this hand drifts further and further down the handle and before you know it you're right down at the blade end and you can very easily cut yourself around that part of the finger there. So just take great care that you don't accidentally creep your way down the handle and cut the hand that's actually holding the, uh, the blade. But basically, be careful.